So you want more out of life? Your self-improvement journey is going to be a lot easier if you practice gratitude. If you improve yourself but you are not grateful for what you already have, you are going to want more and more and more and you'll be like a black hole, never satisfied. So I now challenge you to list 10 things you're thankful for in the comments. I'm going to go above and beyond this challenge and talk about 11 things in no order of importance. I'm thankful for shelter. I've got a place to live and a bed to sleep on. If you've got that, be thankful as well. Because there are many people who are homeless and sleep on the cold hard ground outside in the winter. If you can offer assistance in the form of food or cash to them, do so. And if you're doing so, please put the cameras away. Many of them don't want their lot in life advertised on social media. I'm thankful for life. I lost three friends in car accidents at ages 19, 22, and 25. Those incidents serve to remind me that life is unpredictable and you shouldn't waste what you've got left of it. A year ago, I got into a bad accident myself and almost lost my own life. I was burning the candle at both ends and fell asleep at the wheel. This could have been avoided if I was managing my sleep time. So if you're hustling, don't forget to take care of your health and remember to sleep enough. It can potentially save your life. I'm thankful for food and water. If you have food and running water in your house, you are very lucky. Don't waste food. If you can't eat it, put it in the fridge for later or the next day. There are people all over the world who still have to fetch water from wells and rivers and catch rainwater in a bucket and don't know where the next meal is coming from. Think of how hard it must be to trudge through unforgiving territory to make sure you've got water for cooking, drinking and washing. If you've got running water, you can practice gratitude by not wasting it. Take shorter showers, fill a bucket to wash your car, soap your dishes first before you open the faucet if you don't use a dishwasher, and conserve your clothes so you don't need to wash as often. I'm thankful for all my limbs. You don't have a car? If you've got two legs, you can still walk and take public transportation. Someone who can't walk is looking at you and saying that you're very lucky that you can go wherever you want. Are you holding a phone to watch this? Great. It means you have hands. You only have one hand? There are people who've got none. There's a story about a girl who was born without hands and she never let that hold her back. She still had her eyesight and a functioning brain and she made use of those and got stellar grades at school and is now an attorney. With her grades, she could have been a doctor too, but she would have needed hands for that. I'm thankful for my job. There are people who make more money than I do. They can go on three, four vacations a year and they have big mansions and their own yachts and can go out without counting the money in their wallets. But there are also people who work in deplorable conditions and those who lose some of their paycheck whenever they can't work. And there are people who are unemployed and who have difficulty getting jobs. I've been there myself. If you have a job, be thankful that you don't have to ask anyone for money. I'm thankful for my senses of hearing and eyesight. Can you read the title of this video? Yes? Can you see me? Yes? Did you have to learn braille? No? Can you hear me? Yes? Through both ears? Yes? Then you're fortunate. Life becomes considerably more difficult if you are deaf or blind. Many people who are born deaf also never learn to speak and are called deaf mutes. You can express gratitude for this by helping a blind person to cross the road or by making appropriate gestures to a deaf or deaf mute person. I'm thankful for my clothes. You don't have designer clothes? No? Are they hand-me-downs? Yes? Are they clean? Yes? Do they have holes? No? Then you're fortunate. If you get to buy new ones from time to time, you're even more fortunate. Do you wash them by hand? If you've got a machine, you're lucky. 
There are people who only own one suit of clothes and seven pairs of underwear, one for each day of the week. And there are people who are wearing torn, tattered, and dirty clothes and are unable to obtain new ones. Do you have a lot of clothes you aren't wearing? Donate some to the less fortunate. I'm thankful for my family. No family is perfect, but I wasn't abused or neglected as a child, and there are people who can't say the same. I appreciate the level of support I've had, especially when I was in the thick of the problems associated with autism while growing up. There are people whose families can't or won't give them support in their endeavours for whatever reason. I'm thankful for my wife. No marriage is perfect, but she doesn't mistreat me. She would do anything for me as I would for her. And she tries to be a good wife. She also cooks great food and is great company. Anyone who says that another man or woman is better than their husband or wife isn't living with that person. Nobody is perfect. I'm thankful for my friends. There is a moral from one of Aesop's fables that goes, He who has too many friends has none at all. I don't keep many friends, and everyone is about their lives now, and we may not hang out as often as we used to. But when we do get to talk, we pick up right where we left off, and we would be there in each other's times of need. I'm thankful for my subscribers. I would like to have more, but let me say thank you to all 21 that I already have. I am to make videos that will be meaningful for younger autistics coming up and to men in general about the issues we face. I hope to reach and help many with my unique experiences and insights. So like and subscribe if this was helpful to you. I'm always open to constructive feedback and suggestions as to the topics you would like to hear me address. So feel free to leave that in the comments as well. I'll see you in the next video.